Apple just announced the Mac that I was most looking forward to, and unfortunately, some things are disappointing, while others are absolutely mind-blowing. Now, Apple flew through the announcement faster than any other Mac announcement before, so some things are easy to miss. But in this video, I will cover every single difference between the new 15-inch MacBook Air and the 13-inch M2 one that we already have. The 15-inch Air is gonna feel incredibly thin and light due to its larger size, but the thickness being 11.5 millimeters thin. This is the world's thinnest 15 inch laptop. Now, the 13 inch Air is actually 11.3 millimeters, a very slight difference, but that will not be noticeable. Now, as far as weight, the 15 inch Air comes in at 3.3 pounds. The 13 is 2.75, so yes, it did get heavier, but because the size is a little bit larger, just like on some other 15 inch Windows laptops that are lightweight, it feels quite light. Now, just to give you guys some perspective, I have my 15 inch MacBook Pro right here. Compared to the 16 inch Pro, this thing feels really thin and light, but it is actually 15.5 millimeters and over four pounds. So the new 15 inch Air is going to be incredible. Now the bezels on this thing are five millimeters, which is actually smaller than the 5.6 of the 13 inch and because the screen size is wider and larger they look even smaller and the notch that is in the center is also less visible it doesn't look as large takes up less space and if we compare the 13 inch and the 15 inch air side by side you actually get a 32.3 percent larger screen real estate overall which is quite significant now a lot of people love the 14 inch macbook pro and the 15 inch air will actually have over 16% more screen real estate, which is gonna be incredible while being a lot thinner and lighter. Now, the screen itself is still 500 nits, just like the 13 inch with 1 billion colors with P3 color range. It has the same 1080p webcam, and with M2 chips image processing, it actually gets improved, and we have the same three mic array as with the 13 inch. Now that is not a bad thing because those microphones sound great, but what has changed and will be incredible is the new six speaker system, which includes woofers. Now with the 13 inch model, they have a quad speaker system with a couple woofers, but people have complained that it doesn't sound that good. Uh, one guy actually returned his because he thought it was defective and the second one wasn't much better. And when we compared the 13 inch uh, Air, the M1 model to the M2, the M2 is actually quieter and I prefer the M1, but with these two additional speakers, we have woofers, we have mids and highs, which will make it louder and sound better. Now we are ordering multiples today, so make sure you guys click that subscribe button below for some hands-on comparisons. But while those are shipping, here's a comparison of a 14 inch MacBook Pro that has six speakers compared to the 13 inch Air so you can hear the difference for yourselves. <laughs> Now that is a significant difference. And I'm not sure how much Apple's gonna push the 15 inch Air, but we do know it's going to be a lot better. Now, as far as battery life, I've talked a lot about the 15 inch Air having incredible battery life due to the larger size, but unfortunately, this might be the biggest downside because Apple rated it at 18 hours of battery life. And that is actually exactly the same as the 13 inch MacBook Air which means that there's a chance that they put a battery in here that is barely any larger. Now, of course, the speakers take up some of that extra room and Apple likely wanted to keep the price down as well as the weight. But what is interesting is that the 13 inch Air in real world use gets about 10 to 12 hours of battery life. But with the M2 chips really good for efficiency cores in low power mode, I've got over 20 hours. So you can get quite good battery life, especially if you're not pushing it doing crazy tasks. 
Now inside of the 15 inch Air, we have the same M2 chip, which some people are going to be disappointed about because the rumors of the M2 Pro did not come true. But what I will say is that Apple compared the M2 chip to the Intel based MacBook Air and they said it's 12 times faster. And compared to the 15 inch MacBook Pro, even though some specs might be slightly worse, in real world usage, you're getting way more performance, way better battery life as well in a thinner, lighter design. And with that, it is still fanless, which might be a disappointment because there could be room for a small fan. But what I will say is that because the chassis is larger, that will help dissipate heat and keep it running at higher performance levels than the 13 inch, like we've shown off in previous videos. Now the design is identical. We have the same color options. The keyboard looks the same. We still have two Thunderbolt ports along with MagSafe charging, which is great, but none of that has been improved. As far as RAM, you still get eight gigs at the base, going up to 16 and 24. 16 is my recommendation. And as far as SSD, it still starts at 256 gig, and it can go all the way up to two terabytes, which will cost a lot, but I think 512 is a sweet spot because most likely the SSDs are gonna be just as slow on the base model, and they get twice as fast when you upgrade to 512 and that also improves real world performance. So that would be my suggestion. Now the absolute most mind blowing thing is the price tag. We thought it would cost $14.99 and we were shocked when Apple put $12.99 on the screen coming in at just barely more expensive than the 13 inch. Now, Apple did drop the price of the 13 inch by hundred bucks. And interestingly, the M1 Air is still around at the same price tag. So it makes the M2 Air a better deal. But for 1300 bucks, the 15 inch Air is going to be an incredible deal. A great laptop for pretty much everybody and it is gonna sell absolutely like crazy. So if you want one, I would order one right away. Or if you want more real world comparisons, make sure you get subscribed because we will have those coming out for the things that spec sheets don't show off. Now, Apple is positioning this to compete with Windows laptops. They kept giving us specs, for example, 50% more battery life than the leading 15 inch Windows laptop. And in real world life, uh, that is actually a bigger difference. It is 40% thinner than the leading 15 inch PC laptop, half a pound lighter and fanless at the same time. So I'm sorry, Windows PC fans, um, this thing is going to destroy a lot of competing laptops and we will have those comparisons coming up as well if you guys want to see those. So personally, for me, I think this thing is gonna be killer. A couple things are disappointments, but pricing it that low makes up for those things and it's way better than them changing a few things and pricing it at 15 or $1,600 like some people thought. This will be the machine for most people and I'm incredibly excited to check it out. Make sure you guys click that circle above so you guys don't miss our real world hands-on comparisons which we dive into a ton of details. Check out one of those videos right over there. This has been Max and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.